What's up YouTube? I am Brandon G from Geek Kings and I'm making this video today to voice my opinions on what I think about the MacBook Air versus the Surface Pro 3. There's a lot of debate between these two products and I wanted to voice my opinion. Both of these devices have their own place in the market. So guys, you have tuned into this video to see my opinion on the Surface Pro 3 versus the MacBook Air. So let's get this going. Now as you can see, I've put both of the computers on the table here and we're gonna take a closer examination of them. Uh, now, you have to keep in mind that the Surface Pro 3 does not fall under the category of laptop only. It is a tablet and a laptop, if you want it to be. The MacBook Air is a traditional laptop, notebook, whatever you want to call them. I actually prefer the term notebook. Now, I've been using Windows and Mac OS X, primarily Windows for most of my life, but I recently switched over to the Mac eh, about eh, 2008. So what is that? That's uh, like, what, seven years ago? Um, so my opinions on these devices is going to be very unbiased because I really don't care for either operating system. They're both good in their own way, but they both have flaws. Now, as far as a desktop is concerned, I feel like the, the Mac operating system, OS X, is kind of slacking on its quality, but I still use it on a daily basis. I have an iMac, that's my desktop, and that's my main computer. And OS X is what I use on a daily basis. With that said, I love how Windows 10 is going to turn out. I was not happy and I'm still not that happy with Windows 8. But with the Surface Pro 3, the Windows 8 operating system makes sense. Windows 10 makes even more sense and I cannot wait for that to arrive. That being said, let's get these main factors out of the way. So we're going to get some uh, some specs and pricing here for you because it's kind of this is kind of the boring part of the video. And if you know us Geek Kings by now, we love to talk. I might ramble, I might rant, but it's all for your guys' benefit. Now, the standard base configuration for the 13-inch MacBook Air, because that's the only one we're talking about. We're not going to talk about the 11-inch. It's a whole different category. The 13-inch at 128 gigabytes, a dual-core i5 clocked at 1.4 gigahertz with 4 gigabytes of memory starts at $999, basically $1,000. The Surface Pro 3 with 128 gigabytes and a dual core i5 clocked at 1.9 gigahertz with four gigabytes of RAM is 999 as well. But you have to factor in the type cover, which is 129.99. So right off the bat, it's gonna be about $1,130 for the same configuration uh, with the Surface Pro 3 with the type cover. Just keep that in mind, type cover is not included. I think the sweet spot as far as the Surface Pro 3 would be the uh, 256 gigabyte SSD with eight gigabytes of RAM as opposed to four gigabytes of RAM. Now, if you do some pricing and you go back to the 13 inch MacBook Air, you still get a 1.4 gigahertz dual core i5, eight gigabytes of memory and 256 for $1,299. So the same exact configuration with the Surface Pro 3, with, like I said, is the sweet spot. The same thing on the MacBook Air is the same price. So there will both be $1,299. So with that said, the only difference that I can tell or see is that the surfaces 
i5 uh, uh, Intel processor is clocked uh, 0.3 gigahertz faster, which you are absolutely not going to see. Now, who are these computers for? The Surface Pro 3 is great for students or a traveling business person who needs power wherever they go and portability. So power and portability are the key words. These laptops, notebooks, whatever you want to call them, are not for people who want to do processor intensive tasks such as movie studio quality editing. With that being said, you can do some light editing and light gaming. If you think you will be able to run games at ultra or high res, you will not be able to do that. As far as the Air is concerned, the MacBook Air, I have a little pros and cons, okay? And I have them for both of these computers. So the pros for the MacBook Air is it's a traditional notebook laptop computer. So there's no detaching the keyboard, obviously. There's no touch screen. It's not meant to replace your tablet. Uh, the sound quality of the speakers is a tiny bit louder and better uh, than the Surface Pro 3. Uh, but then keep in mind also that, like I said, it's a, it's a traditional notebook. So you will get better speaker audio performance. The trackpad, on the other hand, is the best trackpad on the market to date. I've been using these trackpads since I switched over to the Mac, and they are just great. Having said that, the Surface Pro 3 has improved over time with their trackpad on the type cover. Another pro for the Air is the battery life. The battery life is amazing, especially if you're using Mac OS X. Mac OS X utilizes the, MacBook's Air, the MacBook Air's battery and I've been getting between seven and nine hours out of it. And that's just with, you know, uh, web browsing, watching YouTube videos, checking email, Facebook, Twitter, things of that nature, not processor intensive things. Processor intensive things, I'd say you could maybe get squeeze maybe four and a half, five hours out of it. The MacBook Air, obviously, because it's a traditional notebook, you get more ports, more connectivity. So you get two USB 3s, an SD card slot, and a mini display port or Thunderbolt port, whatever you want to call it. Another pro is that you can run boot camp. So you can have Mac OS X and Windows on the same computer. Now, my cons for the MacBook Air. No detachable keyboard. So that means, obviously, again, you're not going to be replacing your iPad with the MacBook Air. It has a slightly slower clocked CPU. Uh, performance on it could be better. Now, obviously, another con is the price. I think Apple could have done a little bit better with the price. Maybe start it at $899 or $799 and give us a little bit slower CPU, maybe an i3. Uh, instead of an i5 like give us more flavors such as Microsoft has done uh, to get better bang for your buck the MacBook Air is slightly heavier than the surface the bezel could be thinner and this has always been something that they could have improved on on the MacBook Air I never really understood why they went with a silver bezel instead of just making it kind of like the MacBook Pros with the glossy all around that would look much better. Another con is the screen resolution. So Apple has been spoiling us with retina displays and high resolution 5K IMAX, all these great screens, but yet they still sell a MacBook Air with no retina display. It only goes up to 1440 by 900, which is not even 1080p. Now, as far as the surface is concerned, my pros are is that it's a tablet plus a laptop. The screen resolution is stellar on it. They went with a 16 by 10. 
it's better for holding it uh, vertically as opposed to horizontally. And obviously the screen resolution is better than 1080p. Another pro is the battery life. The battery life, depending on what you're doing, if you're doing processor intensive things, you will not get the same performance as just web browsing, checking email, Facebook, things that I said also would give you more battery life on the air. My cons about the Surface, and I think I have more cons about the Surface than the Air. The bezel could be thinner. They could have fit a 13 inch display in there to really compete with the Air and make the bezels thinner. I really believe they could have accomplished that. Another huge con, and everyone can agree with this, is the type cover is not included. Also, the type cover is an extra $129. You have to factor that in no matter what. The price isn't too bad, but this is a competitive market. And if Microsoft wanted to compete much more with the MacBook Air, they would have made the Surface with the same standard specs of the 13-inch <clears throat> MacBook Air they would have made it at least $100 cheaper. I feel like if the Surface, instead of it being $999 for the same specs and made it $899, that would have been much more appealing to people than it being the same exact price all around. The front-facing uh, speakers are not great. So if you're expecting stellar audio, if you're thinking that you can go to a friend's house and bump music with them, you're not gonna be able to do it. Another con to me is that it has one USB port. Yeah, one USB port. With that said, you can buy, or as most of us have, a USB hub. Getting down to the nitty and gritty, my personal opinion, I like them both and would buy them both. But if I had to choose one, I would choose the Surface 3 with that said, I'm not saying the MacBook Air is bad, but I love the idea that it's a tablet and a laptop in one. It's a word processing, note taking productivity monster. The screen size is perfect for being a tablet and a notebook. It just works. In conclusion, these are both great machines and it's exciting to see how Microsoft and Apple evolve and improve these products. Remember, competition is good, and you really can't go wrong with either of these computers. They're both great machines. Now on the Surface Pro 3, I forgot to mention something here. You have this, and this is a very useful pen here, okay? This is great for college students like myself. I can just whip out this with my Surface Pro 3 and just start taking notes. The best thing is you just one click of a button and you're there in one note. Now, the pen comes with a little loop here, which I think is kind of gimmicky to tell you the truth. Where I personally like to put my pen is right here between the magnets that bring the keyboard up and the type cover itself, right there. I think that looks a lot more professional and then you can just take this off and you really don't need this little loop. That works much better. Since this is a comparison video, I just want to show you guys a little bit about the performance. I'm going to start them up at the same exact time. Keep in mind that obviously the Air is running Mac OS 10 Yosemite and the Surface Pro 3 is running Windows 8. Dot one. Here we go. Okay. So as you can see, the Surface Pro 3 loaded up just a bit quicker. So that could be just because uh, the MacBook Air is running Mac OS X and the CPU is clocked at a slower speed. You have to remember that uh, this is not really a fair, fair comparison 
because this MacBook Air specifically is the standard 128 gigabyte with the 1.4 dual core i5 with four gigabytes of RAM. At least I'm pretty sure. Let me just check that real quick. Yes, this is the, the four gigabyte model. Um, now the Surface Pro 3 on the right side is the core i the big boy the big bad core i7 clocked at 1.7 gigahertz i believe that could be why the surface pro 3 started up just a little bit quicker than the macbook air now as you can see these are the two desktop modes so with the 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 advantage of the surface pro 3 obviously is that you can take the cover off, put the kickstand down, and just go into tablet mode. You can even do this with it and just use it like that. I can go into here and see my weather. See the radar. I actually love that I can use the Surface Pro 3 in this mode. What it allows me to do is come on go into flipboard let's say and basically read it like it's a newspaper almost i don't really have it set up but if i was on something like the new york times uh website for instance i can just read this like a normal newspaper and by the way guys it's really really light so when people say oh it's too heavy to be a tablet it's really not. This is the best tablet I've ever used. It's obviously not going to replace something like this, a small seven inch tablet. Obviously it's not gonna replace that. But if you have something like a MacBook, uh, not a MacBook, an iPad Air 2 or just an iPad in general, you may wanna look into this because you can do much more than like you have a full operating system here so you can just go into desktop mode and run legacy windows uh, uh, apps and guess what guys there's millions upon millions of windows apps okay there may be a you know a bunch of iOS apps but you have full windows on here. Now, why wouldn't you want to buy this instead of in why, why wouldn't you want to buy this instead of an iPad? And this is not that much more than an iPad. If you can actually go with the 799 i3 and that's only about $100 more than the iPad, okay? And you get so much more with this. On the MacBook Air, obviously, it's a traditional laptop, okay? It is very, very thin and light. It's still not as light as the Surface Pro 3. This is light, but it's bulkier. And as you can see, we have our uh, Thunderbolt slash mini display port there. One USB, uh, I believe it's a USB 3. Our full SD card slot. Our fans running along the back. That we have our power MagSafe. We have a second USB and a headphone port. So this is probably still the best traditional laptop on the market today. As far as the Surface Pro is concerned, you can go from laptop traditional laptop here to tablet in a matter of a millisecond and that's what I love about the surface if you're someone who absolutely depends on OS 10 for some specific application then I would tell you to go with the MacBook Air if you don't really need OS 10 and you can live without it. The Surface is a great choice, guys. I mean, I am a huge, huge Apple fan here, okay? I am an Apple addict.
At one time, I was an actual Apple fanboy. But Microsoft has swayed or, per, or persuaded me to, to really take Windows seriously. And the Surface Pro 3 is a testament to that. And I really, really am enjoying this. I can get my schoolwork done. It's amazing what you can do with the pen. Obviously, it goes straight into OneNote, and then you can just start taking notes. Let's say, for instance, I want to go to the New York Times. And um, let's see, let's say I'm reading the New York Times and I, let's say for my journalism class, I need something, a specific sentence from here to put as a source into my OneNote. All I got to do is double tap on that. It takes a screenshot and then I just do that. Boom. And it puts it into my OneNote and I can start making notes right away from there so that's just one little example there of why i love my surface pro 3 as a student and yeah it's a little bit gimmicky but if you needed to put your pen somewhere and you don't have the type cover on just stick it right there there's other places you can stick it but just stick it right there it's good enough obviously if you shake it hard enough it'll come off it's a magnet as far as peripherals for specifically for the Surface Pro 3, I recommend getting something like this. This is a uh, iHome, uh, you know, it's just a, a regular speaker. Um, I, I don't think it has Bluetooth. You just connect it to the to the uh, audio port, opens up like that, and you just you just lay it right there, and and you got better sound right there. So my preferred way of using it, there you go, boom. You throw in the, the best keyboard ever made, and no doubt, this is the best keyboard ever made, and it's made by Apple, okay? Aside from anything else that Apple makes, they got this right. And with my iMac, I use a wired one because I believe that it's the best one. It comes out with the numbers on the side, and it also allows for two USB ports on each side. That's my preferred way of using my Surface Pro 3. So you actually can save money. Don't buy this because the pen, the, the pen comes with the Surface Pro 3. You honestly, if you don't want to spend the $130 on this, Spend the $60 on the keyboard and then you can get a nice little Bluetooth uh, uh, or, you know, whatever mouse for 40 bucks and you're saving $30 and then you can just take the surface wherever you go. This is my preferred way of using my Surface Pro 3 and I love using it that way on my desk. Obviously, if I'm out somewhere, then... I will do the traditional thing of doing that if I'm going somewhere and using the keyboard that comes with it. That is the convenience of the type cover. Also, it's in the name, type cover. It protects the screen. So like I said in conclusion, both of these computers have their pros and cons. If you could live Without OS X, I would say go with the Surface Pro 3. If you want a traditional laptop that runs Mac OS X as well as Windows and is more of a traditional laptop, like I said, go with the MacBook Air. And you're not going to be losing anything because they're both the same price. What's nice about the Surface Pro 3's uh, charger is that it actually comes with a US extra USB port on here. Now, what I don't understand 
is why they didn't just run a little one or two little extra wires so that this could become a secondary USB port to the one USB port that's on the Surface Pro 3. I do like it because you can charge um, whatever phone you have or whatever peripheral that you have to charge through USB. Only thing I don't know is that this is uh, uh, 5 volts 1 amp when most things are 5 volts 2 amps. So that's just something I don't understand. Um, they should have actually just made an extension of the USB and had this be a secondary USB straight to the machine. They both plug in about the same. The surface just goes right there and then plugs into the wall. So it's basically like a MagSafe. And then for the MacBook Air, obviously, it's the same thing. Just magnetic. Come on. There you go. What I don't like about the MacBook Air's charger is that with with uh, this iteration of the Air, they decided to go with a little bit uh, a thinner and wider uh, MagSafe port. So that means you will need this specific MagSafe charger to charge your MacBook Air. You cannot use any other MagSafe other than the MacBook Air MagSafe. So I think at this point, I've put my opinion and touched on basically almost every point that you can talk about about these two devices. Now, ultimately, it's gonna be up to you. It's going to be up to your personal preference. And like I said, it's like buying a car. Treat it like that. Go to the Microsoft Store touch the surface pro 3 see what it feels like and how you might use it go to the apple store and 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 pick up a 13 inch maybe even an 11 inch macbook air might do the job just know that it's a smaller keyboard i pick the winner as a surface pro 3 and that's just my personal preference i am a college student like i said and this makes research papers and Everything in between as far as college goes that much easier. I slipped this right in my bag and I'm set to go. This is all my textbooks are on here. All my notes are on here and it's just a one-stop shop. This is the same idea, but it's not as professional looking as this. Everyone has a MacBook. Not everyone has a Surface Pro 3. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it's not too long. I may make it a uh, one or two part um, uh, video because it is pretty long. I just like to talk. I'm sorry. Let me go edit this. Everybody enjoy themselves. Thanks for watching. And if you like the video, press that like button. If you want to see more of our videos, subscribe. And always remember to have a great day. Peace.